Hey, this is Anthony from Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dionese Carve Master GTX jacket available at Revzilla.com. So, to my left, I have Brett wearing the Gore Tex. Carve Master GTX from Dionese. New for fall 2013, part of their sport and touring line. If we look at it, three colors available. This is the anthracite black version. I'm classifying it as a classic Dionese three season cold weather jacket that's really built for that European climate. It's going to suit you well fall, winter, spring, and here's why. It's going to have the waterproof, breathable Gore-Tex membrane built in in a Z-liner, non-removable construction. So what that means is you're getting the bang for the buck factor, Gore-Tex at a lesser price point, but you're not able to do direct venting. So what you'll have on this jacket, you'll see when I open it up, you'll have vents that are going to vent to the liner, create that great evaporative cooling effect as you sweat through the Gore-Tex membrane, but it's not direct vents like you'd see in a pro shell jacket. Now, that said, there is a removable thermal liner. So again, dead of winter, you'll be good to go. And it's built into a Mugello fabric chassis, so it creates a really nice line. Now a quick note on fit, Brett's 6 foot 175, 180, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size, is a 50 Brett? 50 size Carvemaster GTX from Dionese. So again with the Mugello fabric you get a little bit of a stretch to it so it's going to have the ability to hug your body a little bit differently as well. And like I said, it is a classic line. If you're concerned about fitment, remember we ship for free anything over 39 bucks. And as always, you can click here, subscribe to Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback. Now, getting into some of the nitty gritty as we walk through some of the nuances, you're gonna notice there's a double collar here. The double collar is a removable thermal collar from Dionese. It's going to snap and zipper out. You'll see that it's going to have that thermal element to beef up for the winter time. I already showed you YKK zips down the front that are going to vent indirectly to the jacket and a lot of adjustability. See, we have him cinched on the biceps as as you move down here towards the cuff. Zippers at the cuff, it's a full cuff, it's a lined back cuff. That's one of the things you're gonna see a lot of from Dionese moving forward to comply with the new European safety standards. Brett, turn away from me. Now, from a CE rating side of things, when you get the interior armor, it's elbow and forearm armor. You're also going to have a composite armor in the shoulder with the thermoform shoulder protector that's external. That's a nice play off the racing inspired lines from Dionese, but you get that externally now here on a more sport and touring jacket built for street riding. Turn backwards for me, Brett. The back is one of the nicer features on this jacket. Just beautifully clean line as it comes all the way down into a longer seat. Adjustment on the hips, but again, it's classic here. Microflexion on the back. Actually, it looks like microflexion, but it is microflexion. They're trying to hide it. That's a big panel of microflexion, so when you're gonna get hit with the high beams of a car or another bike at night, that's gonna light up like a Christmas tree and keep you safe. And then looking here, big exhaust panel. So remember, that ventilation comes in through the interior. It's gonna circulate around that Gore-Tex liner, which is gonna have that sweat that's pouring through it, and then it's going to allow that to be evacuated out of the back. Again, that evaporative cooling tent factor, where it's like the fly on a tent, you get that great factor, and it pulls that sweat away out through the garment. But again, in my opinion, it's not as effective as something that has a direct ventilation system. It's just really costly to do that. Come back around to the front. Now, when you th think about the Dionese food chain, you know, something that would be a little bit less technical would be something like the ice sheet. But from here, you're looking at the Gator GTX. You're moving up into something like the Talos GTX. Again, that's straight on. There's really a top end food chain of Gore Pro Shell garments that give you that great direct venting, but do cost two, three, four hundred dollars more than something like the Carve Master GTX. Now, unzip the front for me, Brett, really quickly. I want to show that brief thermal liner as we're wrapping up here. You see lots of functional pockets, waterproof pockets on the outside. On the interior here, you're going to see their thermal, the thermal liner that really quickly would zip out, revealing the interior, which is that Gore-Tex liner that's going to be against your body to allow you to interface with that membrane and have the sweat go out. Also note, it is a 360 degree zipper. Thanks, Brett. So remember, the next step in your journey is to click right here, read rider reviews at revzilla.com. You can use my knowledge of the Carve Master GTX as a starting point, but read other rider sentiment and see how they're having it perform for them in the longer run at revzilla.com. As always, I did mention, we're gonna ship it for free. And as always, if you wanna talk to a gear geek, give us a shout, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Dionese Carve Master GTX jacket. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.